Hello there everybody, welcome to Matt's world. Say hello to my dog, Tally, who is three years old, who is a lurcher. And she is a she, by the way. Not a he, before you start referring to her as a he. It's in fact, a she. So, yeah. And she's in a bit of a sniffy mood on the walk. I have tried to record this video once already. Uh, like, my actual good take, that, um, that I didn't stumble on my words. Uh, ended up having a bit of grotesque road killing it, so I've had to do the recording again, because I don't want my channel deleted for showing um, a bit of grotesque imagery, so... Uh, and I don't, and I can't be bothered going through all the effort just to blur it or to censor it when this is just a video I'm holding on my phone. I can't be bothered um, doing all that editing stuff just to edit it out. I can't be bothered, I'm just recording a video. But, um... I'll talk about a few things quickly. First thing I'll say is I'm sorry for the negative downer, down in the dumps video last week. Um, I took it down not because I regret anything I said necessarily, it's more because the video is now out of date. I am back on, it was a video explaining why I quit social media forever, but I haven't quit forever. I've quit for a week. I've done that thing that a lot of online people do where they say they're going to quit something forever and they've had enough and then they come back. You know, I did that. I came back because the beef that I had with my friends has been sorted. They've apologised for the things they've said and that they've hurt me with. And I've apologised for the things I've said and that I've hurt them with. And I've met them, met up with them twice in the last week or so. And it's been fun. It's been great. So, so yeah, it's been good, really. Um, so that video is a bit out of date, really. Hold on, just give me a second. I was just disposing of the business baggage, but I'm back. Um, and so is this big brown silly doggy. But um, yeah, I just wanted to say sorry for the bit of the down, uh, down in the dumps video. I, I don't know if I said this in the video. I hadn't had my, I hadn't had my antidepressants for a week, um, which has kind of screwed my mental health over completely. Um, but it's, it's, it wasn't really my fault. It's not like I forgot to order them. I just couldn't order them on the NHS app because uh, I'm due a medication review, which is tomorrow, actually. But I was due a medication review, so I couldn't... I couldn't... Um, you know, I couldn't order them. So I had to ring an order, and then with circumstances happening and them taking a bit to come, because obviously they're not on my order list... I didn't get them for a week, so it, it just completely screwed me over. So, um, so I want to say sorry for that. And I want to say sorry to the people that I spoke about in the video as well, because um, I'm the kind of guy who just says things how they are, or at least from my point of view. And sometimes I can be a bit too blunt and a bit too um, direct with the things I say. And I need to remember that, you know, this world is uh, adapted, adapted for the uh, majority of people and the majority of people are obviously not autistic, are they? So they don't really understand some things that I say when I'm a bit blunt, they just think I'm being a dickhead. And I'm not trying to be a dickhead. I'm just trying to be honest with how I feel. You know, my brain works differently to yours and that's fine. You know, I got a few hostile messages on social media after I made the video. Uh, which kind of just proved proved me right on making the decision to quit. So thanks for proving me right. But um, anyway, it was that was the minority. It was only one person really. Everyone else was quite supportive. It was quite you know talk to me if you feel like you've got things going on. And I've spoken to a few people. And like I said, I've met up with a few with my friends again a few times since, and it, I've had a few good times. So. Um, it's been great, so, you know, I'm glad I said the things I said, because 
it's led to my friendships being rebuilt really rather than just putting up with the crap i've spoke about it and it's been sorted and if i didn't say anything you know pardon me if i didn't say anything you know what would have happened i'd still be here moping around you know and the other thing i wanted to say was like a lot of people questioning me on it like oh why would you why would you put it on youtube and to be honest the main reason was i didn't want to have to tell all my friends in my friend group all my other friends that are not in my friend group and i have a split family so all the people in my mum's family all the people in my dad's family everybody over and over and over and over again so i thought i'll just say it once to get it off my chest and then they can watch it that's that's the entire reason why i made the video it wasn't to try and you know rub shade on anybody you know to pour salt on an open wound it was that that was the reason and I get it, most people are not going to understand that because they're not a mat, are they? They don't, um, they don't think like I do. And that's my downfall in society, is I do a lot of things that, that are considered weird by the majority, when in reality it's not. It's, that's just how they think it is. So, and I don't mean stuff that's actually weird, you know, like nonsery or anything like that or racism you know i don't stand for any of those things or you know what i mean i just mean general life things you know like hobbies and stuff they just think i'm being weird or you know if i do something you know i follow an interest and they go oh you're being weird so like, i'm not being weird i'm just being true to myself but anyway um but yeah i think that's everything i wanted to talk about i have released the hound as Mr. Burns would say. Um, she's off. I'm just hoping she doesn't. As Lurch is a hunting dog, she likes to, um, whenever she finds something that is quite attractive to her, which is actually, actually quite repulsive, um, she does like to have a little roll in it to mask her scent when she's hunting for things that she wants to hunt. I'm hoping she doesn't do that. But there she goes. Anyway, she's going crazy. She's loving it. So that's it, really. Um, I don't really have all... Uh, oh, yeah. No, there's one more thing. Um, I'll probably explain this more in a different video, but I had I had one of my fits for the first time in two years today, which wasn't a great experience, but my mum was very supportive and she looked after me very well. Um, it's the first time I've had one at my mum's house, actually. Um, but weren't a great experience and um you know i've been trying to hold off from having a fit for weeks literally for weeks i've been trying to not have one because i ain't had one for so long but I, I i just got to the point where i was just like i can't i can't hold it in anymore i've just got to let myself go and i hate it because i don't like having them but at the end of the day it's a condition non-epileptic attacks disorder that i can't help it's just something that I have when I get too stressed about life, I fit. That's just that's just what happens. Um, I can't really change that. I just have to accept it and embrace that. That's just a part of me. So we'll show you a view of the sky. Look at that. That is absolutely gorgeous. That is absolutely gorgeous. But yeah, I am going to do more videos where I talk about life because I've had people... Um, Especially when I were on that TV program, which I'll tell the story of in a different video. I've had people say to me, you know, oh, um, you should make a podcast, you should make a YouTube channel, you should make a vlog talking about your life, talking about what it's like to be autistic and stuff, because it's really interesting, you know, and people say all this to me. And I'm like thinking, you know what? Because I've been encouraged, it's not like it's from one person, from like a lot of people that I know. I thought, you know what, I'm actually going to do it. And that's why I made this channel. I know it's kind of turned into a little web series I'm doing and uh, collection videos at minute, but I am going to do more of these IRL videos where I just talk about life and I just talk about my life as an autistic individual and the things that I find difficult and giving advice on how 
people who are in my shoes, with my in my situation, can, you know, improve on their life and not make the same mistakes I did. So, because for me, I didn't have that resource. So, I want to provide that resource to you guys. So, expect more of these videos where I just waffle on. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed listening to me talk about life for 10 minutes. Um, because I sure have enjoyed talking to a camera. Uh, but yeah, I best get going and just leave you with this absolutely breathtaking sunset. Um, so, yeah, um, if you like the video, leave a like. If you want to subscribe, please do. I would like to get to a 1,000 subscribers at some point. That would be nice. But, um, yeah, I will... I'll see you a lot in the next video. Uh, take care and goodbye.